Steve, thank you. As we've been telling you throughout the morning, one man is dead. A woman driver, female driver, is in the hospital with serious injuries after a two-car crash on I-75 northbound. It is still shut down there at the Hopple Street ramp. Nine News reporter Bill Price is live in Camp Washington with more. Bill? And good morning to you, Catherine. As you can see behind me, Cincinnati police are still blocking off many of the uh, entry ramps to I-75 northbound as they continue to investigate this fatal accident. And just in the last few minutes, we got confirmation from traffic officers with Cincinnati police that indeed this is a fatal two-car crash on I-75 northbound at Hopple Street that shut down I-75 north from the Brent Spence Bridge all the way here to uh, Hopple Street in Camp Washington. Now, officers are telling us that a large pickup truck and an SUV collided in the northbound lanes at Hopple Street around midnight. One man is dead. The woman driver of one of the vehicles taken to the University Hospital with serious injuries this morning. Police are not saying yet if alcohol may have been involved. The impact of the crash flipped the pickup truck onto its top, sent the SUV into a guardrail. In fact, we now understand the pickup briefly caught fire after the crash, and officers responding to the scene had to use fire extinguishers to put the fire out before fire trucks could get to the scene. Of course, heavy debris is all over the roadway. Tow trucks are already on the scene and may start moving some of the wrecked vehicles away shortly. Now, since they police say they're working hard on trying to get I-75 northbound reopened by 6 o'clock this morning, we'll see how well they do. But in the meantime, if you're trying to get around this uh, highway closure, where do you go? We've got some answers now with Denise Johnson and Traffic Now. Denise? Well, I'll tell you what, Bill, anytime you have a major artery like this closed down, it's going to cause some huge ripple effects this morning out there. So northbound on 71, 75, heading in both the, both directions there, heading into downtown from northern Kentucky. We're going to have serious issues out there. Again, here's just a look at the scene right now. As you can see, they are working. Anytime you have a fatal accident, they're going to shut the roadway down for the investigation. Now they have to get into the cleanup part. So as far as that goes, hopefully they'll have that reopened by 6 o'clock because this is going to cause some big problems right now. That is as Bill said, from US 50 heading north all the way up to Hopple. So they have all the ramps to northbound 75 shut down in that area. All of them to northbound 75. You cannot get on northbound 75. So to avoid the problems this morning, anybody heading in from northern Kentucky is going to have to use Fort Washington Way on up to northbound 71 and then take the lateral head back west over to northbound 75. Now if you're coming in from other directions, you're going to have to head southbound on 75 and then pick up the same detour. So you can see that that's going to cause some problems unless you can maneuver your way around heading in the northbound direction depending on where you are heading in this morning they do have uh, you can see the police car blocking the ramp so you cannot continue north this is uh, just a camera looking down right around Fort Washington way so coming across the Brent Spence Bridge you can see they already have that block so that traffic heading off onto 71 in Fort Washington way that's going to cause some big delays this morning so we'll keep watching let you know when anything changes Catherine